is we're going to desolder the valve so I'm going to thump it in a minute so first of all I heat it very very hard right to melt solder look out bash it's empty so we do that for all the pins that have got solder and wires in one two three I think we're probably ready okay so you can now see and you've got to be a little bit careful that we don't fracture the uh, baker light of the valve putting a sharp screwdriver in there you have to do mind your hands lift up that little bit of metal where it's been swaged over there's four of these and now with any luck we can remove the valve base and there it is it's now come apart and the first thing you do is you take this bit of metal out because we don't want that in the way and that is soldered in here it's proven a bit obstinate but it comes out there it is so the base is now clear and at this point you need to get the solder out of all the holes put fresh solder back heat it tap it out and the hole will be nice and clear okay now we try this one here all right there we go and there it is it's now clear now, you need those all clear right now what you have to do is break the pinch off the valve using a pair of pliers and then gradually remove all the glass and pull the innards of the valve out it'll go pop here we go so that's the pinch gone and now we've somehow brutally got to break this open and it's not too difficult now the glass has come out what we've got to do now is extract the innards any which way you can until they come out and there is an empty valve can so that these transistors can go in what you now do is you cut this lip away any which way you can with a pair of side cutters until you've removed it again a bit brutal it doesn't matter nearly removed it all so you get as much out as you can and then using a half round file you can simply put your half round file in hold it in your lap and file out that lip until you've got a nice large hole inside the valve body and that is ready then for fitting over the top of the transistors when you put the transistors in you put this back anywhere you like it doesn't matter you can use the old positions if you want and then using a pair of long nose pliers you push the swage part back in until it grips the body of the valve and in there you can now have some transistors there's three of them look just like the real valves which are there you can't tell the difference apart from the coloured spot that's so I know what they are